I do want to bring in Melissa Armo now. Uh, she joins us. She's a founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, it's always good to see you. What are the charts telling you big picture about where stocks are headed from here? Good morning. Thanks for having me. I believe that the market is going to have another sell-off. Now, where we go when that sell-off actually occurs will depend on when it happens. Is it going to happen this week or is it going to be later in the month? Today, we are opening lower. And if we break the low from yesterday, in fact, I'm going to give you the exact numbers here. If we break the low from yesterday in the SPY, which was 253.53, look out below. The market has a long way to go down. The market is attempting to rally on every piece of good news it can get its hands on, but it's really not going far. I, so I'm glad that you brought that up because we still see bad news, right? I mean, the worst jobless claims on record last week, that poor Texas manufacturing data out yesterday, a continued rise in these COVID-19 cases, yet the market moved higher on bad news. What does that signal? Well, actually, uh, there's something that came out right before the open. I'm going to just quickly read this to you. The Federal Reserve announced an establishment of a temporary FEMA repo facility to help support the smooth functioning of financial markets. So this came out literally like 20 minutes ago. This, this is very complex, but the bottom line is just for viewers to know that the Fed is trying to step in to preempt another big sell-off in the market or really a collapse of, 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 of some of these some of these banking facilities. And the problem is that with people out of work, despite the fact that they passed the stimulus, I think that people are worried that there's going to be higher defaults, that people are mm -hmm. not going to pay their mortgages, and the banks have a tremendous amount of exposure, even now still in this environment with credit. And so the Fed stepped in this morning and we still open lower. And if we don't mm -hmm. rally this news today, this is this is bad. <laughs> in terms of how bad it might be, I mean, I, I know you've been following the market for a long time, Melissa. Compare it, if you can, to the financial crisis or other bottoming processes that we've seen, right? I mean, certainly in the financial crisis, it took five months, roughly, from September of 2008 until March of 2009 for a bottom to actually be put in. And we actually did see strong rallies of as much as 19% uh, in some periods as we were making our way to a bottom. Is that what you anticipate this time around? No, because this is completely different. That was a mortgage banking crisis where the lenders, again, were overexposed and the Fed came in and then the market had a nice rally back. I mean, we had a beautiful rally for 10 years after that. This is completely different. No matter what the Fed does, this isn't gonna stop people from feeling scared that they're gonna get the coronavirus and die. We're all in our homes. People don't want to go out. The government is telling us not to go out for another 30 days. And in fact, it's telling people not to work. And I'm not saying that that's, that is the wrong thing to do. That is probably the right thing to do. We don't want people to die. But as far as the economy, what, what, can, what can you do when people aren't working? They're still not making the same money when they get the stimulus checks and the unemployment checks. And there will be other people that were not covered in that stimulus plan that did it, that make too much money that are still going to have financial problems because their businesses are going to suffer and they're, and they're going to have problems paying their debt. And a lot of people don't have a certain amount of money saved in the bank. For example, you're supposed to have about six months of your expenses in cash, liquid, in case for emergency that something would happen to you. Most people don't have that anymore. Personally, I think that people should have 12 months, but that might be say, saying a lot. I'm kind of conservative, but six months is typical. If people don't have the cash reserves to go another four weeks or possibly longer, it's going to be very problematic. So this is not like the financial banking crisis because the Fed cannot fix this. It is a health problem. People are dying. It's very serious. Okay, so let's um, talk about certain sectors, right? I know retail is one that you follow closely. We've heard of tens of thousands of employees furloughed at some of these different retail locations. But the charts of Macy's and Kohl's, what do those tell you about um, those particular companies in this time? I'm really worried about Macy's. Macy's is worth $5 and change right now. It has had a dramatic sell-off since the end of last year. And if you remember, even last year we were discussing it, it was a great retail season in 2019. Economy was booming. Consumer confidence was high. People were out spending money. These stocks looked 100% different, even just five months ago. So Macy's, I'm worried about Macy's. They furloughed about 130,000 employees yesterday, and I'm worried because I don't want Macy's to declare bankruptcy. I love going to Macy's in New York. Everyone watches the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. 
And I'm, I'm worrying, not so much about Kohl's. Kohl's is probably going to hang on. That's about 16 bucks and change a share. But Macy's is dangerously low. Once something gets to that point where it gets under $5, it qu they quickly seem to go down to two dollars a dollar become penny stocks and then no one even trades them no one wants to buy them uh that, you know and i i'm i don't want that to happen to macy's okay so any places melissa where you see opportunity in this market j and j was up yesterday because they came out they may be working on a vaccine we'll see if that actually follows through and goes anywhere and of course target walmart the companies that are still open and are selling goods and services to the american people those are the companies you want to watch they're still hanging on to their trends they're still in uptrends and they once this is all over they may actually have the biggest lift up first go, going back to the highs but the problem is the market is very far off the highs right now so so what's going to be the driver if it's not the fed coming out today if it's not the Fed two weeks ago, if it's not good economic data, which we're probably not going to see at the end of this week when the unemployment numbers come out once again, then what is going to move this market back up again? Nothing for the foreseeable future. And that is a big problem for 2020 for these markets. All right, Melissa Armo, she's a founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, thanks again. Thanks for having me.